What's up guys, it's Reflex, and we are on to, um, I don't remember which number this is, but we are looking, sorry for the Discord, um, we are doing the review for the Twisby Swipe. Um, I will just be going over the pen itself, and how it writes, and how it feels, everything like that. I won't be talking about the things it came with as much. If you want more information about that, you can look at my unboxing and first impressions video, where I go a little more in depth with, you know, what comes with it. And so what comes with it is a spring-loaded piston converter, a traditional twist piston converter, and a Twisby proprietary ink cartridge. And you can also just put the ink straight in the um, barrel as well with an eyedropper, which I personally wouldn't do that, but it sounds like you can. So, if, you know, if you want to, go for it. Um, I have the Prussian Blue with a fine nib, and the nibs in the Twisby Swipe are the same as the nibs in the Eco and the Go. So that is a, a good thing, in my opinion, because Twisby Ecos have great nibs. Um, never touch the Twisby Go, but I assume it'd be the same, because it's the same nib. So it's a great writing experience. I love this pen. It's in my top five, but I mean, the only thing I hate about it is if you take a look, it's just a big fingerprint magnet and like it picks up dead skin cells and I find myself often taking a microfiber cloth and just kind of wiping it down a little bit. Um, I actually have the same problem with my Eco as well, but for that it's mostly just on uh, the section the grip. Which is one great thing actually about the swipe is that where the grip kind of curves back out, a little flange I guess, it's a bit more pronounced than the Eco, so it's actually I prefer that because it stops my fingers from sliding which is great on this really smooth, slippery plastic. Um, feels the same as the Eco, but with the Eco, if I'm getting sweaty, writing letters in a hot room, I find my fingers just keep slipping and I have to keep readjusting. But with this, because it's a little more pronounced, my fingers stop at that slope and stop slipping. So I really appreciate that. So this pin is $27.26.99 on Goulet, which is where I got it. Um, I absolutely love it. I have had no problems with it. And I currently have it inked with Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. I guess that's kind of how you say it. Probably close enough. Um, that's about all I can say. It does have a steel nib, of course, at that price. Again, same nib as the Eco and the Go. Um, so taking a look around the body, we have the Twisby logo on the top. And we have this little, this is not metal, I don't think. I think it's plastic, but it is incredibly incredibly stiff I can put it in like my pen cases that need to be clipped on and stuff but it's very difficult to get on and off it's incredibly stiff if they ever make a revision of the swipe I, I definitely think the clip is something they'll have to change because it's borderline unusable honestly which is fine with me because I don't really use clips um, I like the way it looks though, so I, I like it honestly, but if you rely on your clip, <laughs> you might not want to buy this, because good luck with that. It may become loose over time, but again, because I don't really use clips, I haven't really used it, and so I haven't noticed it get any looser. Uh, we do have a little ink window, and let's see, I believe I'm using the twist converter. If I can open it. Okay, yeah. I am using the twist converter. Um, quite a big ink capacity as well. Um, that's the thing about this swipe. The cartridge and converters that came with it 
are quite large, so you're going to get a lot of ink capacity with this. Um, it does take standard international ink cartridges, but those will be probably pretty small in here. Because, yeah, the converter comes all the way up to here, and then it goes pretty far back. Like, this thing can hold a lot of ink. Um, probably not as much as the Ego. Well, maybe if you eyedropper the body, it might... Um, you might have good luck with that. I personally am not going to do that because that kind of scares me. But you, according to Boulay, you can. Um, I don't know about that. So let's go ahead to the most important part and do the writing. I feel like I wrote with this pen in the um, unboxing and initial impressions, but I honestly can't remember. Um, one thing before we write, one thing I wanted to add is that the Prussian blue is opaque and the smoke is a little see-through, a little bit translucent, I suppose. Um, not fully translucent, but you can kind of see through it. And I also got this because I thought it was going to be the same blue as my phone. I think I explained that in the video as well. I probably showed it. But this has a little more green to it than I could tell in the pictures. It's definitely blue, but it has a little bit of a green tint to it. Even looking at my phone, it looks just blue with no green. But looking at it in person, there's some green to it. So, just one thing to consider. Oh my, a hard start. And then once it goes, it's good. To be fair, I typically get hard starts on this paper in general, depending, not even like, I think it's usually not the pen, it's the paper itself. It's super slippery, so I don't know, it's this weird texture, in my opinion. So I think the pen just has a hard time gripping on it and starting at first. But then once it starts, it's good. So there is a good look. I love this ink. It goes really well with the pen. Um, it does look a little dark on camera, but they go together very well in my opinion. So I absolutely love this pen. It's in my top five, definitely. Uh, maybe top three? Uh, I got a new pen and it's really disrupted my favorite scale. So it's hard to say right now. I'll get back to you in a few months, but definitely top five, maybe top three. I got to really, you know, hire a therapist and like really think about that deep before I can give a certain favorite, but... It's definitely up there. Absolutely love this pen. It feels great, writes great. Having I already had Yamadori when I got this, and they go so well together. I love it. Um, this is one of the pens that stays on my desk at all times. I always have two or three. I try to keep two, but right now I have three because again I'm trying to figure everything out. Um, I have two vintage ones that are on my desk, but only because they have to stick nib up. But then th the three I have like an arm's reach currently are the Twisby Swipe, the Pilot Metropolitan, and my new, to me, um, Pelican M200, which I will also be uploading a review on uh, in a couple weeks. Well, maybe more than a couple, but you'll see it when it comes out. So love this pen. Highly recommend it to anyone that's looking into it. Great price. Great pen. Uh, I believe it's a little cheaper than the Eco, and personally I prefer it over the Eco. I prefer the snap cap over the twist. Um, I prefer not having the uh, piston filler on the external. Like I like it uh, internal converter piston filler, but not on the pen. Because uh, especially on the Eco, I don't like the Ecos as much. Personally, I know everyone loves the Eco. I love my Ecos, but... I prefer this a lot. I find myself always wanting to use this. I'll come up with an excuse to use it. My Ecos, not so much. I enjoy it when I use them, but they don't give me that same feeling of let me make up a reason to use it because I want to use it. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, that is my review of the Twisty Swipe. If you're looking at it, get it.